Okay, peeps. What's that? 340? Y'all see that, right? So, hmm. Y'all already know I'm going with this, right? By now. Let's look at the shenanigans going on in Chicago. I see this right. I just did the uh, steps and the sidewalk. Man, that snow is heavy, y'all. But I did the porch. We well, went up here, but it was on the steps. That's how much stuff fell. It was clear when I went to sleep. And that's Rena foot. Y'all see Rena tracks. She got in her Uber. Y'all see them her tracks. I I could just do up to the recording. A recording day. Okay. I see how much I feel. Look at the top of the car. Yep. So I keep y'all posted. We're supposed to get 10, 10 to 15 inches between now and Friday. So I keep y'all posted, peeps. Still got my coat on. So, yep. Just took off my boots, my gloves, my scarf. Hoods. Round four. <laughs> She says she there. Eight forty-five. Let's look at the shenanigans that's going on here in the shade, y'all. I see this right. See this? It's ridiculous. See all that snow? Oh, yeah. He got a shovel. Sweet. Mm. Oh, he did this. But look how much don't feel right there. Let me see. I might come out here and sweep this again. Before it get too high. Y'all see these shenanigans? That's going on. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go to the back. Let's look at the fishes. Happy place right here. Y'all want to see some snow? Especially you right here, Miss Attitude, right there. Got a whole bunch of attitude. I'm not fit to feed y'all. I had other things to be concerning myself about this morning. I see you, Slender. Look at Slender. Okay, slender out. Where the rest of y'all? Okay, you go. I see you, big mama. See you, girl. Okay. I think the other one, like this one, I feel like, I feel like it's dying. I don't be seeing it that much. You go one of the twins. Mm-hmm. You go Big Mama. You go Big Mama. It go Slender. It go one of the twins. It's two of those. Y'all see them. Ain't no shame in they game. They don't hide. They don't play hide and go see or nothing. They need to come and shovel some snow as much as they eat. Need to work. Okay. This, the truth is right here because I ain't do this. This haven't been touched. 
So what you see right here is what it is. You see those steps? Yeah. The grill. The garbage can. Oh, look at the banister right there. Huh. And normally he parked like right there. Ain't nothing. He ain't, he ain't nothing. Ain't nobody even been back there. That's why like he should park in the front because I think he'll be getting stuck. It's all the way up. It's all on the door. Being just so disrespectful. Like, why you got to be on the screen, though? Well, I'm going to go out here and sweep the porch. That's what I'm going to do. It look pretty, though, right? Ooh, it's thick, y'all. Oh, my gosh. We get some snow. February the second. Oh, my goodness gracious. Alright. He on his way home, though. It's probably going to take a minute because they hadn't even did the streets where he at, where, where he work at. I don't even know if they did our main street. So, people out there. Um, I could at least do the porch. I got to check out the situation again. Somebody right there. Well, he got a ladder for what he finna do with a ladder. Y'all see him with a... Where he go? I can't even get him. Well, he got a whole ladder for... Oh, he gone. I think he's stuck. It's gonna be real hard for cars. Oh, there he go, y'all. He got a shovel. I think he saw me recording y'all. I'm trying to be incognito. Oh, he's shoveling and shoveling. Oh, okay, Benny. Oh, he ain't got no gloves on. See, that's what I'm saying. This a man thing right here. Cause boy, I be I, I couldn't even shovel cause I'll be too uh layered up. <laughs> Like, he ain't got no gloves on. He ain't got no boots on. See? Mm-mm. I probably ain't know what. I don't even know. They probably ain't even gonna have a sickness for what I end up with. Fooling with all that. Trying to do that. Cause my back will break. My wrist will be, be done. And arthritis would. It's like, no. I'm gonna just kill my poor wrist. Yeah, young. He young though. He might he uh the Georgie age, y'all. Let's just watch him in action. You come over here too. You can do all that right there, right here, you know, like I give you a couple of coins. Yeah, that's Benny. I think that's Benny, yeah. He that's his brother car. And he had a whole ladder. I'm not trying to see what you trying to do in this snow with a ladder, man. Where you was going? He ain't got that ladder no more. All right, let me sit up here talking to y'all. Let me try to do a little something, something. All right, please. Okay, peeps, it's ten oh seven. I just swept the front porch and the steps, so I'm here to get ready to go out here. And do this back porch. Man, we got a lot of snow, y'all. I'm just doing the uh, porch and the steps. The hubby got the rest. He needs a snow blow up for this. So he just got home. Uh, where my gloves go? Oh, snap. I need my gloves. Oh, left them in the front, but it's okay. He just got home. So, it's not heavy, man. Man, look at that. See how deep that is? Y'all see that? Snap. I left my gloves in the front. The dog's on the front. I 
Alright. Y'all see that? Let's get her done. I'm stopping at the steps, but I'm going to do all this right here. I don't like that broom. I like this broom. This 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 my girl right here. I got a name her. She be coming get the Oh, you hear my gloves? I was looking for them. Oh, okay. All right, peeps. I'll be back. Hopefully it start. They got a truck right there. Uh, somebody getting a tow truck. Somebody get a truck. Open your thing. You should have had some over your face. Your face mask. Pull it down. Oh, I'm gonna make it cold. You're not done though, y'all. Okay, y'all, so we got a lot of snow. We're in about that right there. Y'all see how far the snow come above? It's higher than the steps. Well, I'm going to put some salt down because it's coming. As soon as I get through, more coming. So I'm just put some salt down. All right. Praise. 10 30 peeps nearly. Okay. So I finished the back and put salt out there. So I did the porch. This is what I did. And everything. I'm going to did the porch. And he, oh, it's a lot right there. Y'all see all that stuff? There you go. He getting her done. Uh, see? A lot of snow. We didn't put some salt down. Let me come back and put the salt down, or you want to stop and take a break? Put the salt down. Yeah, you don't think so? Yeah. It won't hurt none. Rock salt. You want me to pass it to you? I mean, I brought one to the front, but it's three empty pellets. I ain't got no more pellets. Yeah. You can take a break from pushing. I use all the pellets, but like right hand on the back. Okay, y'all. Uh, Woo! This is really heavy. Hello? It's heavy, too. I felt it up. Oh, be careful, man. Make sure you get it right here. Okay, peeps. I think this is for today. I'll be making a video tomorrow, though. But. I gotta clean the bathroom up. I'm on the schedule, so I'm supposed to start at the ba bathroom at 10, but I've been sweeping snow and all of that. So, I ate me some soup. Oh, this is the kind of soup I ate. Uh, I hate this one. Oh, boy. I'm tired, y'all. I'm gonna need some coffee. To go on ahead and finish the rest of the stuff I got to do today. So, smoked turkey with white and wild rice. It was good. So, yeah. And I just came out that basement. I'm going to bake some chicken, right? Chicken legs, drumsticks, whatever. And some chicken wings. 
And I'm frying me some fish. I'm gonna fry up some fish and bake some chicken. And so I got another one over here. So, and I add this to my soup. Now I'm getting ready to um uh what I'm to y'all. Whew, clean the bed off on. That's what I'm feeling ready to do. It's a deep clean day today. So Bring on my soup. Uh, Alright. I see you when I see your face. It's getting cold. Hmm. I'm still see where he's snow blow that uh These shenanigans, these shenanigans. <laughs> mm. Y'all, look, they all out. Because they hungry, y'all. Y'all see? One, two, three of the silver dollars. They go. Uh, I don't know if them the twins right there, cause they getting long too. I hope y'all can see them right there. And then they got one right there. See, y'all see them all right there. One, two. They hungry. All the uh, rainbow sharks was out. Huh. Them always, they greedy right here. Them barks. Tetris. Uh, all of them out. Wow. Rain said this one pregnant. Cause she do look, she just been standing right be always in that little corner and her belly don't got big. Oh y'all there you go. Irene said you can see inside of it. She said it look like some eggs in there. Okay. Y'all wanna eat? I told y'all if y'all can't shovel no snow, you can't work, you don't eat. Huh, how about that? Well, you feed them. Dad, right? I been feeding them. Mm -hmm. I ain't been feeding them. Because in my background, it ain't gonna look right when I get ready to make my video. Don't it. It's right there. What's this white stuff? What's That's just condensation, like salt. You know, like salt water. It builds. It makes salt. No, where's the light at? It's right here, Rain. I don't see how you used it before, Mom. That's right here, look. Press it. No, that's not the light. Now they feel it'll scatter. You doing too much. I ain't doing it. Let's show my boots. You want to see What's the pregnant ones? one? Which one? When you said you could see the little eggies. This one, right? Yeah. When you said you could see the little eggies. I'll feed you guys. Don't well, worry. she is big, y'all. 
Yeah, I got. Oh, her stomach is big. Girl, I told you they was trying to be mating. Look at her. Look at her. Oh. She doesn't want to swim up. Still, her, her belly holding her down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how it be when you get right in for real. Enjoy fish. Look at them barbs. Enjoy fishing. Enjoy. I'm going to cut the light back off. Okay. I'm going to go I don't look pregnant, so look at that. Look, look at that silver. Look at the silver dollar, though, y'all. Oh, look. They eat all the food. Big mama, she's shy. She'll come out. All right, y'all, finna make a video. Hey, peeps. How you doing today? You doing good? That's good. Y'all already know. I had some coffee this morning. It was one of those type of mornings. I seriously could tell my energy when I have coffee than when I don't have coffee. That is so weird. I have work like that. What? But anyways, you good? Man, you ain't feeling good on whatever level because the snow, shoveling snow, Man, this snow though. Mmm. We on round four. And we just at the beginning of February. We gotta get through all of March. Huh. Anyways, let's I'm get into this. Why are you stressed? I said don't stress. <laughs> she told me don't stress about the snow. I'll be out there getting that snow up at three something in the sweeping that snow at three something in the morning. Mm -hmm. At first I liked it doing that. I was like, oh really look how much snow done fell. You can see it on our window. That's a lot of snow. Mm -hmm. Wow. I should get the ruler, my measuring tape and measure that. Huh. Look how many inches that is. I mean that how many inches you think that is? Ten. Ten? It's a lot. I might show y'all when I finish making my video, but let's go and get into this prayer. Here we go. Uh, if my if this prayer be all discombobulated, just know caffeine is in full effect. Coming from uh, uh, a newbie. <laughs> I'm not definitely no professional coffee drinker, so man, I be feeling like I have a whole buzz going on. But anyway, here we go. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We pray for any and everybody that is not feeling good in their mass, body, spirit, and soul. We pray that you come through, you heal them, you deliver them, you set them free from any and everything that's keeping them bound in their mass and in their hearts in Jesus' name. Now, Father, we're lifting up those that don't lost loved ones. We're going to take a moment of silence. Father, we pray that you heal their hearts, you comfort their hearts, you encourage their hearts, you strengthen their hearts in Jesus' name. And Father, we Father, we come and we lifting up those that's in the hospital or at home bed bound and calling on your name for full, full healing and recovery. And we're going to touch and agree with them for full healing and recovery in your name, Jesus, because by your stripes we are here. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And great is he that is in us, the Holy Spirit that is in the world. Amen, amen, and amen. Got her done. I kind of had a look, but I stayed on. I, I, I stayed the course, y'all. So, any chit chat? Y'all already know. Y'all already know. It's this snow. Snow, 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 snow. So, yes, oh, nah, it ain't that time. Somebody said the date, Sharon, the date. You're right. I heard you. Hmm. I got virtual virtual hearing. <laughs> um, the date. So today is February the third. Thursday at twelve thirty-six in the p.m. 
little afternoon tan. Let's look at this weather though. Y'all remember the Wizard of Oz or the Wiz? And they were singing, Don't you bring me no bad news. I don't know why when I was young and I heard that, that was the song. And Michael Jackson version. I can't win. I can't get even. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No? So, yeah. Accuracy, this, uh, accuracy weather. Let's see what kind of news they give me, ready to give me. Well, it's saying it's 25 degrees, but the real field is 14. It's cold out there because the hubby had to come and shovel this morning. Rain did the back and put some salt out in the back. And the hubby did the front when he got off of work. I, that snow was so heavy. Look, my shoulder and my neck was hurting get last night. I had to put some uncles on it, some peppermint oil, like all throughout the night. I'm like, eh, I'm over it. When you start to hurt my body, you become the enemy now. You the enemy, Snow. You the enemy. And it was that wet, heavy snow, not the little soft flakes that said, now nah, I had to put. So it's in a real feel. Now I see that. It's a very cold. Hmm, how about that? Humidity is at 72%. I think it's uh, worries out there. Indoor humidity is very dry. So winter forecast. Y'all want to see the winter forecast. Y'all have to see this to believe it. Thursday, 7 a.m. to Friday, Friday midnight. And that's when it stopped. One to three inches. Yeah. So tonight... Real field gonna be eight. That's why my gas bill be looking all man. 2022. This is what you got for me. This is snow and a high gas bill. Ha ha ha. All right, y'all. Let's uh look at. What? What the hell? See popping up? Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Just trying to make my life complicated. Join the snow. Well, anyway, a little evening snow accumulating a coat to an inch. Otherwise, low clouds. Storm total snowfall is one to three inches. So, Friday high is. 24, supposed to be 24 to low 6. Saturday has 20, low 14. Sunday has 31, low 17. Well, it looks like we're getting ready to be in the 20s and the 30s, so that's cool. Can't complain about that. So the record in 1992, the high was 60 degrees. Huh. Who I had in 1992? Man. Child number four. My son. And the low was negative 17. Huh. Back in 1996. Who was born in 1996? Cara. Child number six. I got them mines covered. Who? Who you know? <laughs> Who you know got the names covered with kids, right? Anyway, y'all. So that's just my chit chat. I think I almost threw my back out, but I'm good. I just needed to sleep it off. I was busy yesterday. I had to clean the bathroom up, shovel the front and the back, and did the steps. And again, that snow was heavy because it was wet. And I cooked some, I baked some chicken legs and wings and fried some fish. So yeah, wore me out. I was done. I was looking forward to going to sleep and wake up to a new day with new energy and leaving yesterday in the past. So, 
Y'all, I ain't got too much chit chat because I gotta, I, I gotta do black. I gotta sprinkle a little black history in this read. So let me get on into lead me, Holy Spirit, by Stormy on Martian. Let's get ready to get our spiritual men fed on this Friday or whatever day you tuning in. Oh, this gonna be good. Here we go. And plus, I got other footage. Hey. Start making a part one, part two, huh? Here we go. Led to follow God to resist the enemy's attack. Okay. The enemy will always try. The enemy will always try. <clears throat> We ain't gonna talk about the thousand trips I be having to make in the middle of the night. My bladder ain't right, so disrespectful. The enemy will try to kill us, steal from us, and destroy us. That's why we must follow the leading of the Holy Spirit in order to know how to resist Him. The Holy Spirit gave Jesus the conviction and knowledge that. He must go in the wilderness to fast and pray and resist the enemy with God's word. Amen. Mm -hmm. Solutions. When David found out, oh, David just died. We just finished reading about David. And he not too long just died. What book we in reading? <laughs> First Kings. Now we on Solomon just died too. Solomon just just died like yesterday died. So now we getting ready to read about uh, his son. When David found out that the Malachites had come to the camp where he and his men and their family had been living and plunder everything, including their wives and children, David asked God if he should pursue and overtake his enemy. His own men blamed David for what happened and wanted to kill him. His own people. Won't we do it? We'll throw him to the wolves. Like, yeah, his own men the family members, won't they do it? <laughs> oh, my nose running ring. Oh, I'll be back. Ew. They can't see. I'm leaning down. No, it's no, you're going to be digging one day. I got to replenish. Digging where? In your nose. I'm keep a living, keep a living, keep a living. I'm hey, I'm keep a living. So you saying ladies don't dig in their nose? What they do <laughs> when they nose running? We use a handkerchief. A handkerchief? Okay. My mama used to use handkerchief. It was delicious. That's so. It was better than uh when you stop. Well, I like to put turmeric on my chicken, and it's good for you. So you might as well get it in your system while you're young. Because they be trying to put everything else in your system while you're young. I'm putting the healthy stuff in there. Chicken bones? Huh, you get that to Sandy. She'll probably love them chicken bones. She'll make turmeric. It's good for her, too. She don't like it. She'll like it. No. It's healthy. It's probably it's healthy for dogs too. Okay, anyway. Huh. His own men, yeah, I want to keep reading that over and over. His own men blamed David for what happened and wanted to kill him. That's in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. But David sought the Lord and found strength in him. That sometimes it gotta be like that. Everybody around, you'll be like, mm, it's your fault. If it weren't for you, then you're like, okay. Okay. So, 
Y'all just gonna blame me for everything, right? Lord, what should I do about this? Let it go or respond? <clears throat> but David sought the Lord and found strength in him and keep it moving. We too must find our strength and peace in God when the enemy attacks through people. I added the through people. Even when all seems to be against us and things are going terribly wrong, life happening situations, David heard from God that if they pursue their enemies, they will be victorious and recover all that have been lost to them. And that's in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8. There is no way David could have known that without revelation from God. David had Door. She's so disrespectful. David had victory over his enemies because he did not answer that he, because he did not, oh, Jesus. David had victory over his enemies because he did not assume that he was victorious or that he knew what to do. And we want the Lord to be with us and go out before us into the battle that the enemy wages against us. We must seek him for direction. When you persist in prayer, somebody at the front door? Oh, that's probably Georgie then. When you persist in prayer against all that opposes you, you too can say as David did. I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them. Ugh. Like a spider cricket. <laughs> okay. I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them. Neither did I turn back again till they were destroyed. And that's in 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 38. The Holy Spirit in you is more powerful than any enemy you will ever face. Let me repeat that. Huh? The Holy Spirit in you and me is more powerful than any enemy you will ever face. Let that just sit there. When you are under attack, remember that the enemy is already defeated. Ooh. And in the end, you win. Wow, that's deep. In the end, we win. And that's in the book of Revelations, chapter 12, verse 10. Wow, the Holy Spirit helps us to discern the lies of the enemy. Y'all hear that? This is key. The Holy Spirit helps us to discern the lies of the enemy. Quote, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And that's in the Bible, in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 7. Got her done. Ooh. Sorry, book. Got her done. That was good. That was good. So today is February the 3rd, 2022, Thursday. I know I ain't came up with no saying Thursday. I'm going to have time to think about it, y'all. Once I finish reading, it'll be over with anyway. So let's, I ain't going to do a, 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 another prayer from uh, my prayer book, Prayer Set of Velma. I'm going to do Black History Reads with these uh, for the month of February. Um, so yeah, and my first read, I chose to uh, do it about Carter Goodwin, or Godwin Woodson, Carter Woodson. So, yeah, I did my research. I printed it out. <clears throat> so, let's get some knowledge and some more insight going on. So, here we go. Carter Goodwin, Godwin Woodson was born December the 19th. 1875 and he died April 3rd 1950 wow in 1950 y'all he lived a long time he was an American historian author journalist and the founder of the Association 
for the study of African American life in history. He was one of the first scholars to study the history of the African diaspora, including African American history. A founder of the Journal of Negro History in 1916. Wow. Wilson has been called the father of black history. In February 1926, he launched the celebration of Negro History Week, the precursor of Black History Month. There it is. Born in Virginia, the son of former slaves, Wilson had to put off schooling while he worked in the coal mass of West Virginia. He graduated from B. B Ruh College. Mm, Y'all know me in name. We're going to keep moving. And became a teacher and school administrator. He gained, grad, he gained graduate degrees at the University of Chicago. And in 1912 was the second African American. Second. Wow. After W.E.B. E. Du Bois to obtain a Ph.D. degree from Harvard University. Wow. Wilson remains the only person whose parents were enslaved in the U.S. to obtain a Ph.D. Most of Wilson's academic career was spent at Howard University, which is a historically black university in Washington, D.C., where he eventually served as the dean of the College of Arts and Science. So that's kind of basically a, a summary. But now we're getting ready to go into details about Carter G. Wilson. Here we go. Was born in New Canton, Virginia. On December 19, 1875, the son of former slaves Ann Eliza and James Henry Wilson. His parents were both illiterate and his father, who had helped the Union soldiers during the Civil War, supported the family as a carpenter and farmer. Wilson was forced to work in the coal mines near the New River in southern West Virginia. Convinced that the role of his own people in American history and in the history of other cultures was being ignored, or misrepresented among scholars, Wilson realized the need to research into the neglected past of African Americans. Mm. Along with William D. Hargrove, George Cleveland Hall, Alexander L. Jackson, and James E. Stamps, he founded the Association for the Study of Negro Life in History on September 9, 1915 in Chicago. She didn't say she said. In January 1916, Wilson began publication of the scholarly Journal of Negro History, Black History Month. January 1916. Wilson began publication of the scholarly journal of Negro history, Black History Month. Wilson devoted the rest of his life to historical research. He worked to preserve the history of African Americans and accumulated a collection of thousands of artifacts and publications. He noted that African American contributions were overlooked, ignored, and even suppressed by the writers of history textbooks, Mm, and the teachers who used them. Mm. Race prejudice, he concluded, is merely the logical result of tradition, the inedible outcome of thorough instruction to the effect that the Negro has never con contributed anything to the progress of mankind. Wow. The summer of 1919 was the Red Summer, a time of intense racial violence that saw about 1,000 people, most of whom were black, killed between May and September 1919. Wow, 
which is called the Red Summer, because it happened between May and September of 1919. And they killed, like, there's a race of violence that saw 1,000 people, most was black. In the face of widespread disillusionment felt in black America, caused by Red Summer, Carter worked hard to improve the understanding of black history. Later writing, quote, I have made every sacrifice for this movement. I have spent all my time doing this one thing and trying to do it efficiently. In 1926, Wilson pioneered the celebration of Negro History Week, designated for the second week in February, to coincide with markings the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. Wilson wrote on a purpose of Negro History Week as, quote, it is not so much a Negro History Week as it is a history week. We should emphasize not Negro history, but the Negro in history. Ugh. What we need is not a history of selected races or nations, but the history of the world void of national bias, race hatred, and religious prejudice. The idea of a Negro History Week was a popular one. And to honor Negro History Week parades, breakfasts, speeches, lectures, poetry readings, banquets, and exhibits were held to honor it. The Black United Students and Black Educators at Kent State University expanded this idea to include an entire month beginning on February the 1st, 1970. Since 1976, every U.S. president has designated February as Black History Month. Wilson died suddenly from a heart attack in the office within his home in the Shaw Washington, D.C. neighborhood on April 3rd, 1950, at the age of 74. He is buried at Lincoln Memorial Cemetery in Suitland, Maryland. Wow. So, that's how and that's where and that's who is behind the whole Black History Month. So, I hope y'all got some insight, some knowledge about it. Because, I mean, like he said, which I like this part right here. Like, y'all probably already know what part I like. Um, and it's stuff be deep. This is history. This is it. And he said, it is not so much a Negro history week as it is a history week. We should emphasize not on Negro history, but the Negro in history. Mm. Wow. We, what we need is not a history of selected races of nations, but the history of the world void of national bias, race hatred, mm. and religious prejudice. And yeah, Carter Goodwin, Godwin Wilson. So I got her done, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoy both of those read reads. We got our spiritual man fed. And we also got our natural man fed. Incitement. Incitement. Enlightenment on all levels. <laughs> Caffeine. So again, yeah, I did my research. Took my time and got her done. So on that note, y'all, I hope today is Thursday. This is going to be my Friday video. And I'll be including one of these I went through. And I wrote down how many um, 
according to the times I make my video twice a week. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do eight black has black history reads about a person I choose to pick and do my research and read it to my peeps. Cause we all God's children at the end of the day. I don't care what people say. Hey, hey, bars, bars. Okay, so on that note, I hope everybody have a blessed Friday, a safe Friday, a productive Friday, get her done on whatever level, and a protective Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see y'all back at the table on Monday. And on that note, I'm out. Peace, bud. Share something. What? Uh-huh.